I spent 30 years in machine tool business and then I got an early retirement and I thought, well, I don't fish and I can't sit on the porch, so I have to do something. And our local SolidWorks reseller, he had always told me, he said, when you retire, I'll put you to work. So I do a lot of analysis work for them, and then I do some analysis work on the side. People tend to think of fluid flow in kind of two-dimensional, but without looking at it in 3D, you'll never really know what's going on. And that's one of the things that I like about SolidWorks, this computational fluid dynamics, is it makes you look at your product or your process in a way you would never imagine. One job I did was a little methane combustor about the size of your little finger with 154 louvers in it. The next job was a 10 foot by 10 foot by 12 foot industrial air cleaner with 192 air filters in it. Some guys approached me and said, hey, we're gonna build this 400 mile an hour a streamlined car to run at the Bonneville Salt Flats, do you want to be on the team? I said, we really need to do the flow analysis, aerodynamic analysis, to find out how the car will perform. Streamlined cars, they won't fit in conventional wind tunnels because they're typically very narrow and very long. Well, my digital wind tunnel is 250 feet long because the parachutes are typically deployed 75 or 80 feet behind the vehicle, so I want to know what the air is doing back there. And while I was designing this car here, the owner of the car, his friend, crashed out at Bonneville, and he asked me if I would look at that car. He sent me pictures, so I made a simple model and put it in my digital wind tunnel. Well, this is what I saw in this simulation. The parachute came out and just fell on the ground. And then when it gets into clean air, it'll pop like this all very harshly and typically jerk the car either left, right, or if it goes in the air, they call that kiting, it'll pick the back of the car up. And then he sent me a video of the actual crash and that's exactly what it did. So we changed the shape of that car so that doesn't occur. And actually used some of the experience on this car, we incorporated some of the design features in this on that vehicle. It's a borderline addiction. My wife would say that it absolutely is an addiction. I tell people I can't stir a cup of coffee now without wondering how to model that. And every client that I've worked with, I tell them right up front, you're going to see things you've never seen before. And that power, a few years ago, just only maybe NASA had it. And now it's right here at our fingertips. It's, it's amazing. <laughs>